Look out, ducks. I got some more for you. There you go. <laughs> Here it comes. These ducks are tearing up some Fritos. And as you can see, they obviously love them. But ducks really aren't too picky. They'll eat just about anything. I'm looking for the one duck here that's somewhat tame. She has a couple of features that make her look like a male. I believe that's her right there. She's got the white ring on her neck and a curly tail. And she actually let me pick her up twice. One time today and one time yesterday. Isn't that right? So I named her Honey. Because she's a little sweetie. Even though she might be transsexual or gender confused. She's still a little sweetheart. So as I was telling you, this is Honey, and as you can see, she's uh, <laughs> in my hand. She's a wild duck. She's a mallard. I don't know if she's a boy or a girl. She has a lot of the markings from both. I haven't heard her make any squeaks or squeals. I haven't heard her make too much for a noise, but uh, she's a good little girl. Aren't you? Yeah. You're hungry. You're really hungry. Yeah. Poor thing. This is little honey, a wild duck. Aren't you cutie? And uh, she's a mallard, a wild mallard. And she's super, super friendly and very tame. She's probably used to being taken care of by people in the area that she lives in here. And I was quite surprised that she actually came close and let me pick her up. <laughs> and she doesn't seem to mind too much the fact that I'm holding her. You're too skinny, little honey. <laughs> You're such a good girl. Yes, you are. See, this white band around the neck is actually a mallard male feature. And the curly tail that she's got is actually typical of a boy as well. So it's kind of unusual that she has female coloring. But she's got those things. Now, she might be older. I don't know, she's kind of big and she's strong too. So she could very well be a male that has a, a hormone problem or vice versa, maybe a female with a hormone problem. But I tell you what though, I have never had a wild duck that uh, was this friendly. Yeah. Wanna go home? Wanna go home with me? Hmm? <laughs> well, she's a little skinny and uh, I know Skeeter probably wouldn't appreciate it, but I think we're gonna we're gonna take her home and we're gonna feed her and fatten her up a little bit and then bring her back to her home here with the rest of her family. And she's just mighty skinny. She shouldn't be this skinny. I can feel her bones. She's actually a little bit emaciated. Probably because all she's eating is the stuff that people give her. Yeah. See, you're a good girl, aren't you? You're a good girl, little honey. Yeah. <laughs> I'm still feeding the rest of the ducks here behind us. And the seagulls. Obnoxious creatures that they are. Boy, she's hungry. That's a lot of salt there, honey. 
<laughs> See? You like those. You really, really like those. You don't want it? There you go. I take you home. Oh, you got me. You got me. <laughs> you smell like Fritos now. All right, we're gonna take you home. Yeah, we're gonna take you home, and we're gonna we're gonna give you some food and take care of you, and then we're gonna bring you back to your brothers and sisters, the rest of your family. Okay? You don't even bite me. Even Skeeter bites me. You don't bite me. You're a good girl. You're a very good girl. You see, no hands. She just doesn't try to escape. <laughs> no hands at all. She just sits right here.